You are now listening to The I. Walter Show. Real talk about nothing. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird brain. It's a plane. It's I. Walter. I. Walter. Yes, it's I, Walter, a strange visitor from another planet who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. I, Walter, who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend ears with his annoying voice, and who disguised as Walter Interanti, mild-mannered janitor for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, nonsense, and the American way. And now, another exciting episode in the adventures of I, Walter. Hey everyone, this is I Walter. Happy fourth on the third. Um, I'm doing my show today because I will not be around tomorrow. I'll be out of kind of out of town, so I'm doing it today. I didn't do anything last night. Um, I just needed a rest for my show. I think everybody else did too. Um, I like to give a happy birthday to my father. I don't. I think he turned 77, and a friend who actually had his birthday. I have no clue how old he turned. Um. This show might be a little bit lighthearted for the most part, I hope. Um, nothing too crucial. Um, I'm going to look up Rush Limbaugh. I should have done this before I actually went on the air, but um, he's off today. He actually um, mentioned the other day he was going to be off. So his Open Line Friday show was actually uh, yesterday instead of Friday because of, um, you know, technically the holiday already started. Um, holiday weekend. Anyway, there are some interesting stories, I guess. Again, nothing too bad. Well, they're not great either. Uh, very upsetting stories, too. Um, I found this right before I went on air. and it was A lot of these stories are from the Daily Mail, which is a good thing. I felt really bad, this poor kid. Um, it says, no wonder ch- children hate the dentist. It says, parents angry after the child is found screaming in a body bag restraint. So this poor little girl was like, it's at a place called Smile or, Smiles Are Us instead of Toys Are Us. Um, Char- Charlton, Georgia, using what is called a uh, papoose board to hold down the uncooperative uncoop- child. Well, kids don't. I never had a problem. I always liked the dentist. I was, I'm always obsessed about my teeth, so I never really had any problems going to the dentist. I, I actually wanted to go. Uh, still do. Anyway, it says Dad James Crow is complaining that the smiles are us in Charlton. Uh, looks like Carlton uh, used one of one on his daughter without fully notifying him. Um, it says the dentist's office says that all parents sign a consent a consent form um, that the restraining device. Um, device in that they're on you know the in on it basically the parents but apparently this parent was not the poor girl was screaming that's the reason he figured out because obviously you're not going to leave your kid hopefully in a dentist office by her him or herself and i guess when the parent heard the child screaming he obviously uh was wondering why she was in um in that restraint so yeah that's that's scary um again lighthearted. Um, this was on stopmasturbation.org. They put a lot of funny things up lately. This one says, surprise sex, the cure for any unmotivated spouse. Um, it says, the leading cause of masturbation among men is lack of sex. The leading cause of female masturbation is also lack of sex. What is the solution? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Try not having sex for almost 50 years like me and then uh, answer that one. Answer more uh, procreation with your same uh, race spouse. Wow, I just realized that it actually does say that. More cro- procreation with your same race spouse. That could be considered a little bit um, uh, racist, but whatever. I think it's funny now. Unfortunately, many spouses become unmotivated motivated for sex at the exact moment that their spouse is. Um, this creates conflict, insecurities, frustrations, and anger. The solution for many couples is to keep 
uh, keep things exciting. Some men and women uh, used to surprise women surprise their spouse with flowers or candy. Why not surprise him or her with sex? There's more to it. I'm not going to read it, but uh, I thought it was funny. I didn't see the part about the race, same race uh, thing on there. That that would like uh, be perplexing for the people in uh, Norristown area that I live and in Pennsylvania because there is no such thing of same, same race. Um, what do you call it? Relationships. They're all interracial, pretty much over 90% of them. And I'm being generous. Anyway, this one really bothered me. I normally like to poke fun at minorities of some sort, um, but this one is just not right. It was on DailyMail.com. I feel bad for this poor little kid. It says, parents horrified after one-year-old baby left blind following tumor surgery in Mexico when the wrong eye was removed. So, um, yeah, this poor kid is now blind for life because... Apparently, he had a tumor in his one eye, and they removed the wrong eye. Isn't that great? Not. Uh, Fernando, Jonathan, I got that far. Forget the rest, because this has got, like, four different words for uh, their, the poor kid's name, so I'm not going to ruin it any further. Anyway, it says, was left blind after having eye removed. Um, he was meant to have... His left eye removed after chemotherapy didn't work. Um, But this fully functional right eye was instead removed during the procedure. The child's angry parents are now suing on the grounds of medical negligence. So, yeah, this actually, I guess, did happen in Mexico, and I feel really bad for, obviously, the child. There is no way you make a joke out of that. That is not funny at all, and I really feel bad for this parent. This poor kid... At least if he had one eye, he would have been fine. But now he has no eyes. You know, he has one eye. He's going to have to. He's going to basically have no eyes. He's going to, in, in his sockets because now we're going to have to remove the correct one. And the kid is going to be beyond legally blind. He's not. He's he has no eyes. So either, I mean, at least if you're quote unquote legally blind, you're getting some type of light into your eye. But he has no eyes in his sockets. So that, that's really scary. Um. I also found this story. It was on the Huffington Post crime, a different story, I mean. And it says Sanja uh, Farik, um, ex mass lab ch- chemist, may have tainted thousands of cases. Basically, she was a chemist in, um, responsible for drugs coming in, I guess, probably towards cases, and she was actually, uh, comp- you know, basically confiscating the drugs and using them for her own use. Uh, This happened in Boston. Newly released court documents indicate that the former chemist at Massachusetts Drug Lab um, was convicted of stealing drugs to fill fill her addictions, fill her addictions, uh, may have tainted as many as 10,000 criminal prosecutions, not just a few dozen as thought. I'm making sure this thing's recorded. I, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I should know, but I easily forget. So, yeah, that's not really good. Um, the Boston Globe reports that uh, Sanja Farrick, I can't say her name. She looks like, I don't know, never mind, was addicted to co- cocaine, methamphetamines, and um, amphetamines, but between 2004 and 2013 never left the Amherst office to buy street drugs. Basically, she was just taking them out of, uh, I guess, what it would be considered evidence against these cases. Um, she was using and confiscated for her own use. I'm putting in my own words. I don't want to ruin it anymore or any screwed up enough stuff. And I only started. That's a weird thing. It's going to be a short story, short uh, th- you know, thing tonight. I found this. Um, it was on comicbook.com. It's in Ben Affleck Talks. Batman versus Superman confirms interest interest in helming a superhero movie. So Ben Affleck talks here. Well, there's a picture, by the way. You can't see it. I can. I, I apologize. Um, about what made him decide to join the cast of Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, as the Cape Crusader, while also revealing that he wanted to see 
what it be like to be uh, on the seat of a modern superhero movie because he's interested in Hellman one. Um, the Batman question mark, basically. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because he is he is a rather really good director. Um, his acting is a different um, different story, but um, yeah. But you got to give the man a benef- the benefit of the doubt. So um, I'm laughing at something put, somebody put up as a comment. They put something that says. Like their base supposed to be candies, but it's says sperm mines. Candy you love to swallow, creamy goodness melts in your mouth, not in your hands. So it's like candies that are shaped like little sperm. So we put that as a comment to uh, the, the story I just read. Um, definitely very funny though. Yeah, I mean, I could picture Ben Affleck. You know, he is a really. I don't particularly am a big fan of his acting, but yeah, he's definitely really done some good I mean his yeah his acting is not that great but his um, his directing is definitely um, spoken for spoken about him differently I guess so um, that being said um, it'd be kind of neat to see him do something like that he's he's definitely a good director um, by the way I posted this on my a friend's page I thought it was pretty funny we always make jokes about Canada so it says um, what is it that makes Canada Day so special? And it says drugs, igloos, uh, 11 months of winter, Nickelback, living so close to America, and maple syrup. So, yeah, it's basically uh, Canada Day. Um, that was actually on stopmasturbation.com, this link. It says today is Canada Day, which... I'm not sure if it was actually today on the 3rd or it was a different day. Anyway, it just says Canada Day is an annual event where Canada Canadians drink bad beer, listen to Nickelback, and masturbate. No wonder why they put it on there. They try to present, um, they try and present, pretend they have something to be thankful for. Not really. Canada is a frozen wasteland full of snow. Mexicans who live off of American handouts. That is pretty funny. I'm sorry. Someday when we have a better president, we will bring freedom and family values to north uh, to the north. Yeah, that, I put that on my friend's page. I thought it was funny. There was a lot of articles that obviously I wasn't on yesterday. Um, going off on um, basically. It was on the Daily Mail on um, Donald Trump, and you know what? I do believe I, I I kind of do believe in what he's saying. It's just that he is not a good Republican candidate, and you know he's not going to get too far before he dispels out or goes independent. And my problem is once he does that, we got like I think ten or fifteen. I don't know. I'm not going to even bother looking it up. Uh, Republican candidates, and he's just gonna—he's just gonna really be a—he's gonna—he's gonna basically bring it to a halt by him just being there. Um, so, but he's pissed off a lot of uh, Mexican slash illegal immigrants by what he had stated the other day, which was taken a bit out of contents. It was still a little bit off color, um, probably inappropriate, but. He did make a valid point. Anyway, this article, and then I'll just mention the other one. Shakira hits out on Donald Trump's hateful and racist speech while Ugly Betty, actress American America Ferreira, which I really like America, America, America. She used to be on Ugly Betty, obviously. I just said that. I really dig her. I like her a lot. But, you know, she's going to stick for with her own... Um, ethnic background so to speak but i you know i just i love her as an actress she's done a lot of really good movies as well um she had a a series on the internet i've lost track of it she was really good in that too anyway it says uh, about america she says pen billionaire a thank you letter basically america's happy because she's she said he pissed off enough mex uh hispanics now that they're going to go out and vote even more so and it just uh, basically really turned off Shakira. 
Anyway, it says Colombian singer expressed her outrage to 32 million Twitter followers. She insisted that no one should stand behind such uh, so much ignorance. Uh, Ferreira thanked Trump for sending more Latin Americans to the polls. Um, it says claim he speech his speech or will energize them to turn out and vote on election day. Yeah, say that's what I'm telling you about though. It's going to encourage people to vote Democrat. And unfortunately, it looks like the the head runner for the person running for I think for the Democrats is going to be Hillary Clinton. And if she goes it gets in one term, she'll get in for two unless she dies in office. Um, I don't mean that in a meme. I'm just saying she's up there in age. Billionaire made shocking remarks while announcing a uh, run for president. TV stations and retailers, including Macy's, have cut ties with him. So, with yeah, with him. I have to look at this real quick because I'm a big Doctor Who fan. It said something about Doctor Who, so I'm, I'm pointing in that direction. You just have to mention Doctor Who, and I'm I'm like actually right there. Uh, Unless it wasn't about Doctor Who, then forget it. Oh, never mind. That story's going to go uh, go away. Because it said Doctor Who in the same uh, thing, but it says Doctor Who will operate on Joan Rivers, breaks the silence about fatal procedure, and says she never posed for selfies with the 81-year-old star. So read that one on your own, because I thought it said Doctor Who. I'm, I lost interest already. I like Joan Rivers, so by the way. <laughs> Anyway, there was a story, because Rush was talking about it, too. Um, I bought a selfie stick the other day. It was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I had it up, so I apologize again. Um, yeah, it says, basically, he was, um, Rush was basically saying, he, it's titled, uh, Trump Stands Up to cow, uh the cowards, basically, the cowardness of the Republicans. He basically says what most Republicans are too afraid to say is what Rush was saying. Um, yeah, Rush, basically, he it's his, his transcript. He basically says Donald Trump continues to dominate the news and the news cycle. He basically, uh, Rush is saying he is not backing down. Yesterday he got the new, got in the news um, you know, it's amazing to witness the cowardness. Um, it's all over the place. And he's mentioning Emmett Smith with the judge in one of Trump's beauty pageants. So basically, yeah, Rush was going off a little bit. Um, somebody dropped out um, one of the judges from a beauty pageant because of Donald Trump. You know, obviously Macy's. I think I said Macy's is going to basically drop his line and it's like he doesn't care so you got to give the man um and that perspective of of donald trump you got to give the man you know okay he's not backing down i understand my problem is he's just gonna um he's gonna actually just ruin it for the republican party even to get anybody remotely decent i hope we do i still would like to see Cruz in there um Cruz looks like he, you know, physically he looks like a weak man, but you hear the man speak. Um, he knows, yeah, it is Macy's. He honestly knows what he's talking about. Um, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, the thing with Donald Trump, by the way, which really pissed off a lot of people is, which I hate to, I don't take this to anybody who does listen to me for the 12 people out there who actually listen to my show. Um, but it is, there is some a lot of truth where I hate to say it, but most of the people that are illegal in this country are leaving their country because they got criminal um, backgrounds and they, you know, are serial rapists. And they figured, oh, if I come to this country, I can, you know, basically escape from any type of persecution in my country. And it's like, well, in that fact, that that me mentioning that, that is absolutely true. What Trump said. He might have overstepped it. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see the full quote. Um, well, this is not the direct one. This is the one that got America upset, and um, Shakira was the one he said basically. He was. They they've t- changed the contents that from him saying that there. I assume he was saying there was a lot of um, illegals in this country 
that are ser- they're basically rapists. But it came out that all illegals are uh, basically sex offenders or rapists. So, you know, people and they're trying to basically to take him down the media. And it's obviously not work because Trump does not give two F's about it. Um, but one of the quotes was, May, this is on Rush's page. It says, Macy's was unable to handle the pressure. They fold it like dogs. Um, who cares is basically his response. Trump's, what will get the get other ju- we'll just get other judges so that was another quote by the way who cares we'll just get other judges that's for the judge who dropped out of the beauty pageant and then another quote from him was somebody's doing the raping so but he, he basically is correct a lot of these people are looking as illegally in his country they're here illegally because they are trying to run away from something you can't hide that fact so um but people don't want to hear, hear that. They don't want to hear, like, this man is speaking his mind, not only speaking his mind, but he is speaking a lot of truth. Um, there was a story a friend sent me. This is not a very happy story, like you know, right now. And it was on a TV station called WIX Channel 11. Nurse drops newborn at hospital fracturing skull. This was uptown Pennsylvania. Authorities in Pennsylvania say the nurse had dropped a newborn boy at the hospital fracturing his, fracturing his skull this poor little kid the baby's mother says the doctor told her the nurse was drowsy yeah that's a real good excuse um the hospital at the uptown police say that the 30 year old veteran nurse at the uptown hospital was holding the baby at 6 a.m tuesday when he fell from her grasp well you know what there should be legal charges with that too uh, mother Jacqueline Hunt tells WPXI TV that the pediatrician told her that the nurse was feeding and burping her one year old son and she was drowsy and fell asleep and dropped him. So, I mean, babies are pretty elastic, but I mean, their bones even, but are pretty um, soft. But the fact that it fractured his skull, there could be issues. The poor kid's head. Again, being soft could also cause some brain. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping not, but probably some, maybe maybe hopefully not some brain damage. Um, yeah, this was kind of funny. I, I'm I'm going off my friend's page. It was on Huffington Weird News. It says date insight caters to well endowed men and women who love them. So hey, I'm always telling you that you know women have the upper hand, but then when you try to point that out, you're like some type of sexist pig if you're a male. Um, according to Seven Better, size really does matter. The popular dating site caters especially to men who are well endowed and to ladies to love them. So um, there you go. I, I wouldn't make it on there unless it was uh, for underage. Pre-teens, then I could probably go on a site like that. Not that I want to pick them up, but that's about the size of it, and I'll leave it at that for me. Um, yeah, a friend actually sent this to me too, but I'm only reading off his page. It was on uh, local 21 news. Hagertown man accused a beaten boy over. You're gonna love this. Um, I gotta go back to the title because Hager, man, uh, yeah, he accuses of being a boy over a birthday cake. Birthday cake, so that was really funny. Anyway, it says a nine-year-old boy in Hagertown, Maryland, was allegedly handcuffed and beaten near to death for taking a piece of ca- birthday cake. So yeah, th- isn't that great? You know, they got some, but this guy is actually should be procreating and having children. Only so he can beat the crap out of him for eating his cake or eating some cake, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it was the kid's cake. I'm not going to read anymore because I think it's just ridiculous. Um, this was a story I was trying to find the whole thing of. I kind of started reading it. Um, it's kind of impressive, and I'm kind of glad a friend sent this to me, or my one friend, Todd. And, I mean, it's kind of cool. I, I, It's this Filipino guy. He's really obsessed with Superman. And it's funny because I don't mean anything, but a lot of Filipinos I know, they have this really high-pitched voice almost, the males. I don't know why. I mean, this guy has put tons of money. He's got 23 surgeries just to look like Superman. 
And it says, after the 23 surgeries to look like Superman, Man of Plastic meets his uh, kryptonite. So, I mean, I think it's really cool that the guy is that obsessed. I mean, especially somebody from another country with Superman. But the part that I'm glad that this was mentioned, and he actually, he he really adores so like these little kids and everything like that. These little kids like find it really great. Um, is like I was going to get liposuction, and I'm glad I didn't now because this guy actually said the one issue is like he got his stomach, I guess, um, you know, because when you get older, you basically put on weight a lot easier. So he got like the whole lipo as ch- you know, fat sucked out, but then he says it only lasts so many months, and that costs like a, almost three grand for even a simple procedure. So, I mean, I feel really bad. I don't much, this guy's got to be in debt too. His name's Herbert Chavez, um, the Superman fanatic who's undergone 23 surgeries to make himself look more like the Man of Steel, um, may have discovered his kryptonite uh, with the doctors. Basically, he can get all the surgery in the world. His face looks very close. He wears blue contacts. Um, but his problem is there's certain things that, you know, surgery is it's gonna only, it's only uh, a temporary fix. So, yeah, I'm trying to look for that part, too. It says, over the past 18 years, the Filipino man has spent thousands of dollars in hope to achieve in his goal, liposuction, eye surgery, skin lightening, and cheek and jaw um, augmentations, just to name a few. But hope, um, I hope to become the man of plastic, he says. Basically, he can't call himself the man of steel. He calls himself the man of plastic. He is actually in the man of steel costume and one pitcher. He looks really good, though. I mean, I feel bad for this poor guy that he, you know, it's just, it's not, it's only a, a temporary fix. So, you know, it's, he, he can't, you can't fight nature, I guess. Um, it says, however, he appeared in the recent episode of Ease Botched, which I never watched, in hopes to obtain a permit um, permanent abs of steel. This Superman was confronted by twin doomsdays in Dr. Terry and uh, Debro or Dubro and Dr. Paul Nassif. Um, it says, according to the Touch In Touch Weekly, the plastic sur- surgeons were shocked to discover that Chavez has been injecting his chest and abdomen with uh, filler filler. Mess lipo, meso lipo, which is illegal in the United States. Uh, the poison, as the physicians call it, um, has Chavez with lumps all over his abdominal region hardening. So um, it looks like it's gone, going for. I can't even pronounce that. These these kind of words, glutheron. And miso lipo are not accepted in the U.S. for reasons. Uh, reason Nassau tweeted. So that that's the problem too. This guy's been um, injecting himself with this type of thing to give himself abs, and it's actually causing body damage. I really feel bad because the kid, like the guy, looked really good at one point. I don't know why. You know, I guess it's one of those people addicted to um, plastic surgery. So I'm glad I never even got started on that. I was, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, that was the story. Uh, This was pretty weird. A friend sent me this. I didn't even know about it. Um, It was fox43.com. And it says, dangerous new summer trend could increase chances of cancer by 50%. It says, Indianapolis... You know what I mean. Indianapolis. Summer is here, and so is the danger of a new trend called sunburn art. Sunburn art is a new trend where people are using sunscreen to draw designs on their bodies before going into the sun. Um, The idea is to get a severe sunburn so that the design created with the sunscreen is visible. Dermatologists say that the fade can actually increase the risk of melatonin by 50, melanoma by uh, melanoma for, by 50 percent. Um, it is intense sunburn, which increases your risk for 
melanoma, which is the most deadly of skin cancers. Dr. Dr. Christopher uh, Amin, a dermatologist of St. Vincent's Health, told WXIN. Yeah, I don't know where people come up with this stuff. I guess they're just bored more so than I am. I I spend a lot of money, but I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the worst thing I'm going to get is a major debt. Um, this was a story a woman at work told me about, and then a friend sent it to me. It was on Fox News Insider. It says, robot kills worker at Volkswagen plant. It said, the robot fatality crushed a man at a Volkswagen plant in Germany this week. I have a Volkswagen. The 20 year old, uh, 22-year-old contractor was working on a stationary robot when it grabbed him and pushed him against the metal plate. It's nothing to laugh about, but the one woman said, and I think even the one friend said the same thing, it's like, yeah, it's the rise of the machines, just like in the Terminator movies. So um, it's kind of true, too. Friend sent me this story, too. Um, it's one you have to actually watch. He did it as a joke. It's blog, uh, the animal rescue site.com. And it's titled, It's Gotta Come Out at Some Point, LOL, Farting Horse is So Damn, damn Happy. So it says, yes, a sensitive subject for some, but it, um, let's remember, it has to come out at some point. Watch the rolling happy horse, let him rip, and get some relief. It's always a simple thing that makes me laugh. So it's actually this horse Literally, literally, I didn't think a horse could go on its back, but it's rolling on its back to try to get out some flagellants, like basically bottle up gas in the poor thing. So, yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh, you know, I put a picture up of myself with him, too, now. This was on right wing. I got a picture one time. I'm, I'm talking about... Um, um, uh, John Schneider. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. John Schneider actually... Um, now is speaking up. He thinks it's ridiculous. It says Duke star slams TV land for pool and reruns. Um, basically the Duke's a hazard. You're missing the point. Um, so yeah, it, it talks about, um, John Schneider. I did meet him first a couple years ago. It actually is less shocking that he, they pulled episodes of Dukes of hazard over the Confederate flag con- controversy controversy. Then it is, that it took them so long to do so. Not surprisingly, the star of the show disagrees with the decision. So it's all over the Confederate flag. It's on the Dukes of Hazard. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think there is going to, you know, I did a show about that. I think it's going to come to a standstill that people are basically have enough, and it either means separation of, you know. Um, the South and the North, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it, but I think it's going to go that way. So I'm not going to read this one story, friends. I mean, he was going off of. I wish I could find the thing with the pinata of um, Donald Trump. I thought it was pretty funny, actually. So he he made his thing the piano. Maybe I'll just leave it a go at that. That'd be a good story to let let be the last. Um, so let me see if I can find it. Oh, I forgot, uh, Margaret. Margaret, it's either Robbie or Roby. She plays Harley Quinn in the upcoming Suicide Squad. Her birthday, her birthday, it's her birthday, it's her birthday. It's actually, I think, today. Um, yeah, Margaret Roby got a Harley Quinn birthday cake on the set of Suicide Squad, and it was actually marked today. So, happy birthday, Margaret. Um, Roby or Robbie, I don't know. By the way, for anybody who does listen, there was a special edition of Entertainment Weekly um, that was put out, and it's actually going to talk about the Batman versus um, Superman movie. Like, it's got exclusive pictures and stuff. So I end up I can't find I couldn't find it in the store, so I end up buying it on eBay. There was a copy for seven bucks. It's like you know, what? seven bucks. I, I'm in, I'm there. I'm I'm not going to waste my time on gas when I can just buy it for seven dollars on eBay and get it shipped to me. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to look for that Donald Trump story real quick, and then I'm going to leave it go at that for today. And I can't spell pinata, so. 
I was going to pull the first story I can find because I don't want to go into grave detail. Okay, New York Times. Okay, I'll just deal with that one. And now what Mexico thinks of Donald Trump. Mexico City, it is a kind of uh, publicly money cannot buy. Pu- publicity money cannot buy. Front page coverage segment on the nightly news. Um, the tension of the political heavyweight and the stream of commentary burning a hole in the web. Um, but Donald J. Trump, ch- champion of the so-called birther movement that wrongly questioned President Obama's birthplace, owner of the Miss Universe co- uh, contest, and developer of the hotels bearing his name um, of the the world over has not only found fame in the United States where he is running for president, he's also found it in Mexico on an infamy, infamy sorry about that, I'm laughing too, um, in Mexico or infamy, in, in, you know, infamous, um, basically, any, anyway, infamily. He is just ignorant, is what they said. Ricardo, um, I can't say his last name, 18, who works at a, a piñata shop here, adding that someone recently came into the store looking for a smackable uh, retention of Mr. Trump. Um, he speaks in stereotypes. But there is a plethora of stories of this. Uh, them making, uh, they look very pretty pretty accurate i was just having i could buy one i think they're just freaking hilarious i'm sure they're going to put them online it's on abc news too yeah it says some people in mexico want to smash the tunnel trump piñata version of him at least um yeah i'm sure they're going to make a big hit and actually it might even help him out a little bit because this whole piñata deal is like just freaking hilarious I, I don't have room for one, but I, I think it would be maybe it should just make pinata dolls. The Mexican artist decided to punch or put his frustration with Donald Trump into foreign policy into a pinata form. This is another one. This is Daily Cross K O S. Um, yeah, there, I'm telling you, there's like so many stories. I'm just finding that. I mean, I, I'm a I'm a conservative, but I just, I just find this so freaking funny. You uh you uh, us weekly. Donald Trump gets his own piñata in Mexico after his racist comments. See close picks. Oh my god, this is just too funny. There's it's like one story after another. Um, somebody actually, I swear, it looks like they made a piñata of um, a uh, Caitlyn Jenner now too. Oh, that makes it even better because that's another joke. So. Um, but yeah, they're having a field day with the pinata of, um, that one's going to go on my Facebook page once I figure out how to do it. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. I, 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 you know, all my doom and gloom is paid off with Donald Trump now. So, um, sorry about that. I don't mean to keep on this. I'm just having too much fun. Oh boy. Uh, here's a bad, st- uh, not a good story, but I'm going to read it now. Um, Daily Mail. This I just found came up now. This is getting really scary, though. Maybe it's uh, it's an uprise with the sharks. It's a shark story again. Daily Mail. It says terrifying moment. Fisherman fisherman swims for his life after a k- kayak is flipped over by a shark, but then he gets back in the boat and catches it. Uh, ben Chancy, forty two, was fishing at St. Lucie. In Florida, for giant grouper, bull shark, and so the bull sharks are really bad. Took a bait inside, uh, took the bait inside, and dragged the fisherman around for twenty minutes. Uh, predator wax kayaked with his tall and uh, with his tail. Okay, predator waxed kayak with his tail and knocks Chancy into the water. Um, he has his team he and his team later used a larger boat to catch the shark and there's actually a video for that too so that one just came up there's too many shark stories anymore there's that yeah again i said there's like some video too um it's gotten really scary these sharks are just really aggressive lately 
Um, yeah, I was going to leave Go with, uh, huh. I'm finding all these stories. They always come up, by the way, when I'm ready to, like, sign off my show. Um, might want to check it out. It's on comicbook.com, comicbookmovie.com. It says, watch Joker and Harley Quinn battle Deadpool and Domino. Uh, Deadpool and Domino take on Joker and Harley Quinn in this new episode of Superpower Beat Down from Bat in the Sun. Does the clown uh, clown prince of crime stands a chance against the merc with the mouth? So it's like one of these like webisodes, I guess, I assume. So, hmm. I'm sorry. I, I, every time I want to sign off, I'm just seeing something more and more interesting. So, um, hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to read this yet. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty depressing. Uh, MyFoxPhilly.com. Police release sketch of child found dead in Deer Island. That was just yesterday, but it just came up today, just now. Um, Deer Island, Massachusetts. Police say they found the child's body found in a bag on... I don't know where Deer Island is last week, and Massachusetts police are calling for help to de- de- blah, to identify her. Poor kid. Four years old, too. Really cute little girl. Um, yeah. I don't know what's... I always say that, so it's becoming a... Me being a dead horse, no puns intended. All right, I might have to look at this one. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but it's really weird. Daily Mail, it says... And the bride wore flowers in her beard. So it almost reminds me, well, minus the beard, it reminds me of Lady Gaga. Or, yeah, when she did that whole uh, hat made of flowers or something, like her head was covered in flowers. Anyway, it says, and bride wore flowers in her beard. Oh, somebody's calling me. Um, woman was... Woman, woman with excess facial hair challenges beauty norms by posing in wedding dress for her vintage style shoot. I mean, I don't mean to be offensive. I really thought it was a man. I still do think it's a man. It looks like a man, baby. I, I, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I, I really apologize if, if, if she is a woman. Um, it says... Um, Harman, Har, Harman, Car, Car, even her name sounds like a man, has a condition that causes her to grow excessive body hair. Um, after converting to a sickenism, I, I don't even know what the heck that what it's supposed to say. 23 year old decided to embrace her beard. Um, she modeled in a bridal shoot, which s- sees her hair. Um, adorned with flowers. That's really, I feel bad for this poor woman, this girl, if she really is a female. And she's, she looks like, she looks like a man. She really does because of the beard, obviously. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know what you do in a case like that. You know, when a woman has like, well, one, I would just, well, if you shave the beard, you can't win either way. She's like screwed either, either way. So. Already some more ridiculous stories, too, so I'm not going to even go into those. I really just wanted to leave off with the Donald Trump uh, pinata. I just think that, again, is just so funny. Um, Oh, wow. I didn't even know this. This one's going in my story list, at least, a lighter note. Maybe I could leave it at this. I don't know yet, because I'll find something else when I say I'm going to be signing off. Um... It just caught my eye because I'm a big Superman fan, obviously. Comicbook.com besides Doctor Who. Uh, so this was on yesterday's news. Christopher Reeve's daughter named her son after her father. That's pretty impressive. On Saturday, June 13th, the daughter of Christopher Reeve's Superman, Alexandra Reeve uh, Givens, gave birth to a baby boy and named him Christopher Russell Reeve Givens in honor of her late father. That's really cool. So hopefully the kid grows up looking like him. Maybe in the, in the future um, we could have, you know, another 
Reeves play the part. We had George Reeves, we had Christopher Reeves, maybe we have another Reeves play um, if he becomes an actor when he, when the kid grows up. He's only a baby, he's just born. It'd be kind of cool. By the way, I found that article, that was that's on comicbook.com. I bought it, but I bought it on eBay because I can't find it in stores. And it's Batman versus Superman features on the EW, which is Entertainment Weekly magazine, Comic Con cover. Um, the cover of the Entertainment Weekly geek-centric Comic-Con issue due in your mailbox Friday will feature the cast of Batman vs. Uh, Dawn of Justice, of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. So I'm kind of glad. I didn't realize that was actually technically released today. Maybe if I would have waited, I wouldn't even know how to waste. I mean, I'm sure it's about 4 bucks if you buy in the store, so I don't really don't care. I'll just pick up an extra copy, uh, knowing now it's released. Um, other than that, I'm just going to let this go at this point. Um, um, oh, wait, my Rush Limbaugh thing came on, so I apologize about that. And I will be signing off. Um, that being said, everyone, have a good 4th of July. Hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. I understand it may, at least in my neck of the woods or where I'm going, which will be Lancaster tomorrow. Everyone, I am signing off.